I didn't have this on my Death Core bingo card of 2023, but we have a new Nothing Knower track featuring the Death Core rawr, rawr, man, Will Ramos. Now, Nothing Nowhere, you guys might have heard of him before. I mean, he is a big artist, but he's more of like the emo rapper, emo pop punk kind of dude. But he's just recently released a new album that I, I was shocked when I saw the features because it's just stacked with core artists for some of these tracks on the album and particularly the one we're checking out today uh it actually had blake from counterparts as a writer also i mean a lot of people know will Gramos can do cleans now so it's i just want to see him in this different like pop punk emo light i think it'll be cool to just see what's up so got my guitar here let's do it also did you, oh god it doesn't did, did you know that only 51 percent of you are subscribed Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, come hang out, we do fun metal things here. I don't know what tuning this is in, I'm in drop C, uh, you know, core kid for life. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah. That's, that definitely is instantly like, just... Hi, Under Oath. Hi, 2000s, like, melodic, hardcore bands. Like, his senses fail and all that. Yeah, that's that's a nice tr trip back there. I think it's just in drop C sharp. One second. Mm. Oh. It's kind of something like that. <laughs> this brings back the middle school memories. Yeah, you can tell instantly the choke got out. That kind of shit, dude. That's that brings me back. Oh yeah, we're on the eight. The vocals are sick too. Very nostalgic, but modern. And the little lead. Yeah. Can't do this. Little shimmy, beat. That's such a even. That's such a, like a post-hardcore 2000s chord progression. Just like it's a down, 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 down. you can add like nice chords. I love that shit, man. This is this is cool. This is bringing me back. Nice little yelly rars. All the guitar leads too. God, I keep playing that wrong. Okay, we're at the bridge. Is Will gonna come do some snarls? It's like, like reverse production shit here too. Let's go, Will. Woo! Good old Chug. Those layers. Wait, wait, like it's just Will. I love how it's like he's doing like these hardcore. You know, it's not like the usual death core, like blacking like highs and shit like that. He's doing more of a hardcore style, which he can throw out too during this. Um, and I love how the instrumental is just da 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 da, and with the chord progressions, don't know, got out. Like again, just brings me back to like old school Alexis on fire. Under oath, a hundred percent under oath. Uh, just, just those, those good old times, man, of the the two thousands. Sorry, guitar thing. 
That kid, that lead is pissing me off. It is that. I played it wrong like 50 times today. It is something like that. <laughs> Gee! Oh, the harmonics too. Dude, that's so. What is it? Sure, let's pretend that's the harmonic. It just made me want to like jam and solo. I just, I just, where's that ending? I just want to like fucking. Where is it? Dude, that was sick, man. I just, I, I love how. Like, even though, you know, Will is such a versatile vo vocalist, and obviously he's the deathcore dude, how he fits so seamlessly over, like, this very old-school, angsty, emo-y scene, post-hardcore stuff, uh, just so naturally, man. And especially, like, I love the instrumental. Like, you could tell that's the homie from Counterparts with all of his, you know, just like... Uh, like, those types of nice, big... Melodic chords, the dissonance, and the harmonics. Used. Again, I'm not playing the things he was playing, right? But like, just that, those kind of tricks and styles, man. He's a dope guitarist, love counterparts. Um, and hearing that, plus, you know, nothing, nowhere, the homie throw down vocals in that, you know, old school realm, like the eat, but with like that emo rap twist, and will come down with like his hardcore heavy vocals, man. This is dope, man. This is just a good 2000s um, throwback, catchy track, but it does sound modern. I feel like a lot of artists have been trying to do that and capture the essence of the 2000s, but they can't do it because it's the 2000s, and you know it's hard to capture that level of angst and uh, you know people wearing affliction shirts and and dicky shorts and skateboarding all day. So it is what it is. This was dope though, man. I, I'm very excited to check out the rest of the record because it just. If it's anything like this, then hey, let's uh, let's take a trip back to the 2000s. Anyways, hope you enjoyed me butchering the song while I was playing it. This is what we do now. I'm a guitarist, and I do weird diddlies while uh, we listen to music. So um, you're welcome if you hate it, and sorry if you like it.